Things you will need. Motor oil. To find out what kind of oil your vehicle uses, look in your owner's manual. Look under oil and capacities. It should tell you how much oil you need and the viscosity. Oil filter. You can find what kind of oil filter you need inside the manual or in an auto store catalog. Jack and jack stands or ramps. A socket wrench the size of the oil drain plug. A funnel. Oil drain pan. Drive onto the ramps or jack up the vehicle. If you're using ramps, drive up slowly. You can have someone watch to make sure you don't overshoot the end. Be careful not to accelerate too quickly or you may overshoot the ramps. Put the emergency brake on. Chalk the back wheels to ensure it can't roll back. The chalks can be bought or made with some scrap wood. Find the oil pan and remove the oil drain plug with the collection pan underneath to collect the used oil. Loosen the plug by turning it counterclockwise. If it's difficult to turn, you can use a breaker bar. When the oil is finished draining, put the drain plug back in. Tighten it so it's snug. Over tightening may strip the threads or the head of the bolt. Remove the oil filter. If you can't remove it by hand, you may need to use an oil filter wrench. Before you put the new filter in, put a little bit of oil around the gasket. This will make it easier to take off next time and prevent leaks. Screw the oil filter on and tighten it by hand. Take the engine oil cap off and put the funnel in. The funnel helps prevent spilling oil on any of the engine parts. Fill to the amount specified in the manual. Put the cap back on. Let the oil cycle through the engine. Then take the car off the ramps or jack stands. Check for any leaks and let the car sit for about 5 minutes before you check the oil levels. Pull the dipstick out and clean it off, then put it back in. Take it out again and check if the level is good. If it's too low, add some more oil, and if it's too high, you may need to take some out. Make sure you properly dispose of the used oil.